everybody. It looks like we are live. Um, what do you think of the fest background here? <laughs> Thought we would get into the Christmas spirit here. Um, my name is Anita from Ketogenic Woman. My channel is called ketogenicwoman.com. I, I mean, obviously you guys are here, so you found me that way. Um, I uh, have been keto and carnivore for about 10 years and have lost 145 pounds. Uh, there I am in all my glory and my, my former glory. Uh, so, you know, just in case anyone is here for the first time and uh, want to know what I'm, what I'm talking about, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So let's get me back on there. Uh, yeah, uh, it's painful looking at the before pictures. Oh my goodness. Uh, so I am going to um, just say hi to a couple of people real quick. Uh, just Jason Keto is in the house. Hello there, Keto Mama. Hello there, Robin from Carnivorous Grandma. I was looking at your chicken soup earlier, and uh, it's made me want some. And I think uh, Melissa could use some too. So, um, thank you, Robin, for being here. Uh, I'm just gonna go back. Uh, hello, Danny, Cat, Yvonne. Uh, let's see who else made it tonight. Dealey, uh, Cheryl. Oh, so many. Okay. I can't. Bobby R. Thank you for coming. Jennifer, Shannon. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do it. Okay. I give up already. I give up. So, uh, let's go back to the agenda here. Uh, I'm from Victoria, BC, by the way. Uh, and I want to just give a shout out. There's a meetup this Saturday night, December the 9th. If any of you are from Victoria, what you need to do, I'm gonna be there with a bunch of other people. Um, it's okay if you're not carnivore, you can be carnivore curious, uh, you know, everyone's welcome. So, but you need to go to the BC Carnivore Group and the link will be below and register, like just sign up, it's a, you know, Facebook group. Um, just, just join the group and say you want to come to the meetup and, and uh, you know, so they know how many to reserve for. So just wanted to mention that. We do have a giveaway tonight. So it is going to be the Carnivore Crisp Beef uh, Butter Tallow. The code word to win. All you have to do is enter tallow in the comments. So um, I have, this is mine. I have one here. All bundled up ready to go in a mailing pack to ship to you so let me get those out of the way i have so many things on my desk here um now i'm i don't usually mention next week's giveaway but i want to mention next week's giveaway because it's kind of special um and it is this Element is providing me with what you see here. You see this kettle. It's a very cool kettle. Um, they sent one to me as well. Um, you can't have mine, but they are uh, providing me with an identical gift set. So there's the kettle uh, with its base and it's got some, um, like it's uh, digital and everything you uh chocolate medley so chocolate medley uh, for those of you who wait all year for the chocolate medley there it is uh there's two new flavors in it so the chocolate mint is back from last year but the new flavors are chocolate raspberry and chocolate chai chocolate chai is pretty amazing i'm i regret ever tasting it because i will probably dream about it for months to come it's something that i don't indulge in um, but I did have to try it and, uh, you know, very, I think it's their best flavor ever, to be honest. So, uh, oh, and it comes with this little recipe book that uh, I'm supposed to mention. Let me see here. Let's go back. It's got, you know, different drinks and uh, how, how to make different, uh, different items with using the, um, using those flavors of element. So, uh, be here next week to, to win that. They will ship it directly to you. So that is uh, a very nice gift. Uh, you know, you could give it as a Christmas gift or something or keep it to yourself. Oh, and I also need to say, they said, I asked them specifically, they said 
uh, for entries in Canada, they will ship to Canadians. So you Canadians in the group, uh, feel free to enter next week when you come. Not tonight. Don't don't put element in tonight. Okay, put tallow in so that you get the uh, the beef butter. Hopefully. Um, so I also want to mention uh, I do I have posted a video of the week down below. It's it's, uh, it's just something that I do. You know I, I forgot to talk about it last week. Last week there was a video of the week that I had posted. Forgot to mention it. Today I have better notes. And so I want to thank Anna Maria from Italian Gone Carnivore. She sent me, she just emailed me a video she thought I would be interested in. I do love it. It was excellent. You out there who are concerned about thyroid issues or wondering if you have thyroid issues, it is an interview. It is posted below in the video notes from uh uh, Rena at Five Minute Body. She interviewed Dr. Bright for over an hour. Watch it all. Make sure, you know, take a break if you have to, but watch it all because I thought, you know, every minute of it was extremely valuable. And um, I started sending it to other people. I liked it so much. So thank you, Anna Maria, for, for bringing uh, that to my attention. So with our holiday decor here, we're obviously going to talk about the holidays a little bit more. Uh, last week, we talked about dealing with situations like if you're uh, going to a social event, how to prepare before and after. If you haven't seen that one, uh, the link for that is below as well. Uh, there was like a three page document uh, full of tips that you can just download from there uh, for you know how to prepare beforehand and how to handle things while you're at the event. So we're expanding on the topic today. Um, I What I'd like to talk about is uh, non-food holiday traditions. Uh, do you guys have any? If you have any, share them below. Let's all learn from each other. Um, I want to find out if any of you have ever had a post-event syndrome, and I'm going to explain that in just a moment. Um, I'm just, uh, if, if you already know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. So go ahead and, and say whether you've had that or not. Um, do you shop online or in person? Like one of, you know, one of the things that I want to talk about is how to, remove some stress from shopping if uh, you're still like me and um, you've maybe only gotten one or two gifts so far and still have some shopping to do. And we're going to talk about pet safety because, hey, I'm a dog lover and my son downstairs has a cat and there are things that happen at uh, Christmas time that don't, you know, aren't common at other times of year. So we have a handout for you, two page handout with tips on pet safety. So um, those, all those handouts, uh, we also have, oh, we have a hand, we have a gift list handout as well. Those are all below. So, uh, but let's talk about some of these things. So first, let me explain what post-event syndrome is. Post-event syndrome is you go to an event and I, this was something I was supposed to talk about last week and it dropped off my brain. And so this is, this is why I'm, I now have <laughs> I now have notes to follow. Uh, so post-event syndrome, you go to an event, everything goes perfectly. You prepare ahead of time, got your purse bacon, maybe you have purse butter, maybe you brought a charcuterie tray along with you. Um, you know, you were prepared, you handled everybody at the party or the event, you, you know, handled all the food pushers, food at you even when you say no or that you're allergic to something or have sensitivities they still go ahead and do that you sail through it next day you're at home and there's something that happens um i've had this before and there's different names for it out there i've always called it post-event syndrome because i had it like a lot uh I haven't had it the last couple of years, but it's that feeling of you've accomplished it. And then there you are, maybe you've got some, maybe the event was at your place and there's leftovers, or maybe you took something home that uh, you were gonna give to somebody else and there it is. 
Um, or maybe your guard is just down. Uh, this is something that just be prepared for. Um, I'm not saying we're all going to avoid the post-event syndrome, um, but if you know that it is there, if you know that it exists, I, I really want to hear from anyone who's ever had that so that I know I'm not alone. Um, if you know that feeling of, yeah, you survived it and all of a sudden the next day you crash um, or maybe two days later you, 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 you give in. You give in to something because, you know, something in your brain is saying, wow, you know, uh, I... I you know that that old um, addiction, the the committee that talks in your brain that that says, "You did so great, deserve you deserve something, you deserve a reward, didn't you do great?" You know that kind of thing, or or you feel like you missed out somehow. I don't know what it is. I, I'm I'm no psychologist. Um, I just know that it's happened to me, and uh, so I I just just be on the lookout for it. Um, you know during this holiday season. So uh, if you've had a chance to uh, think about these other points that I made, your non-food holiday traditions to share, um, you know, that, I mean, decorating the tree is the most obvious one, you know, get, making, the, making that part of the whole family, um, you know, putting up decorations, that sort of thing, um, getting, getting family members to help outside, putting up lights, uh, whatever that, that is. Um, I'm going to just pop over into the question column here and see if anyone has comments or questions. Um, Dealey says, uh, you look great in your photo in today. Thank you so much. Uh, th this, this decor is kind of cool. We put up a, a black background and everything. Uh, C. Pruitt, first time catching a live, but I watch your videos often and you're entering for the tallow. Good for you. Thank you so much. Oh, hi, Joanne. Uh, you in the background this evening. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like it. Uh, let's see what else here. Uh, Linda Lentz bought, brought the whole charcuterie board. I love this. Yes, I... Um, I, I'm just really into making fancy looking boards that are um, fun and easy. The one that was in the thumbnail of this, uh, there is a video that I made a couple of days ago. It's very short that shows how I put that one together. I did that one with my adult son. So even your adult children <laughs> can uh, still do, do something with you, like a crafty thing. Uh, Anne Hadju says, I shop both online and in store, more online every year. I, I have to concur. I find going into the stores, I, ha I mean, I haven't been to a Black Friday shopping like in person since before, oh, you know, even a couple years before COVID. I just, I just had enough of the crowds. And so uh, definitely I am doing more online than ever. Um, so I, uh, yeah, I get that. I am with you there. Bobby, Bobby R says, our grandkids used to come out and hike into the woods with grandpa to cut down our Christmas tree. Oh, they would help haul it home. They are teens now and busy, so we don't see them often. That is an amazing memory to have though, and building memories with your grandkids. Oh, how wonderful. I mean, that kind of reminds me of one of those Hallmark Christmas movies or something. Um, which, uh, yeah, I sometimes I get hooked into watching them if they come on and I'm like, oh, I get hooked into the storyline. But, you know, that's, that's another holiday tradition is Christmas movies together. Um, I used to love with my dad, my, one of my favorite memories with my dad is uh, every Christmas Eve, we used to watch the old um, uh, Christmas Carol, like the one with Alistair Sim, I believe from 1939, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, that, that is one of my longest uh, memories. Patty Lyman says, I actually catch myself 
rewarding myself after I lose weight or hit a goal. Very just destructive. It's kind of the same thing, isn't it? It's kind of like you did it. And then that little, whatever it is that sits in your brain, Kelly Hogan calls it the lizard brain. Um, and she has a reason for that, which I just can't remember why at the moment, but it, it's that thing in your head that, that talks to you. Um, it reminds me of the cartoons when I was kids, you know, you'd have the, the good angel and then you'd have the bad devil or whatever on your shoulders and they'd be whispering things into Bugs Bunny's ears about what, <laughs> uh, what they should do. Um, that's kind of uh, like that, that voice in your head that uh, is telling you, yeah, you deserve a reward. You did so good. Don't listen to it. Don't listen to it. Joanne Hine, I've been making keto Christmas cookies the past week. Boy, oh boy, I feel guilty, heart racing, and feels too much because I was doing more keto bore. Yeah, you know, um, sometimes we will go into the gray areas during holiday time and, uh, you know, just uh, try to try to minimize it as much as you can. Um, but at least, you know, like, don't beat yourself up because it could be a lot worse. It could be the full blown sugar, you know, filled cookies of, of you know, years gone by. So I, I know that, um, you know, for, for, car for people who are trying to be keto -vore or carnivore, some of those keto desserts are not optimal, but it's better, it's better than it was. And, um, you know, just get right back on as quickly as you can uh, in between times. And uh, I mean, even as late as last Christmas, last Christmas, I made a keto dessert to take along um, because I, I just didn't trust myself yet. I felt like if I didn't, I, I could end up indulging. I didn't have, I knew in my heart that I just didn't quite have the strength. Now, this last Thanksgiving was the first, you know, big event where I did not need a keto dessert and I felt like I, I could handle it. And, and I did. Um, but, you know, it's taken me, it's taken me time. So, you know, whatever you do, just, you know, forgive yourself and move on is, is really the best, the best thing. Debbie uh, Witsit, growing up when we had our big Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner at my grandparents' home, we always went for a long walk after dinner. I loved it. And I love that too. Uh, it is actually, you know, healthy for us to do that. Uh, but it's actually, you know, more coming together, family members, people getting outside, getting the fresh air. Um, and also walking after dinner has been shown to uh, lower your blood sugar. So these are good things too for those relatives who are still indulging. Encourage them to get out and walk after dinner because um, if any of them are type 2 diabetes or have issues like that, that will actually, not only is it good spiritually, but that will help them physically to, to get out there and walk. So that's that's an excellent one. Danny says, no stores are close. <laughs> so thankful for online shopping. Yes, there's that out, out in, you know, when you live out in the woods or in a rural area, sometimes online shopping is the only choice. Okay, uh, Robin says, I usually don't go to the store, particularly for for groceries because I spend a lot less money that way. But lately I have been on a Costco kick, finding myself there multiple times a week. So I agree about the saving money with online shopping because I just know, like when I, well, Costco is a good example for me. I go, you know, in my head, I'm going to buy, you know, eggs, butter, um, some steaks, some roast, uh, if they've got the picanha, I'm all over it, and some bags of frozen salmon. I mean, that's my standard bags of the Argentine red shrimp that I love. That's my standard Costco order. Um, but then I'm there and suddenly I'm coming home with, you know, a ninja or a, 
or TV or, you know what I mean, right? Like it, being in person, you, you can, you can end up putting things in your cart that are, uh, you just never even knew going in that that's what you needed. You see things that you, you didn't know you needed that until you saw that. I'm not so much that way in a regular grocery store because I, I, I go to the meat department. I go down the aisle that has the canned sardines and salmon. And that's, that's pretty much it. I, I go to the frozen food aisle to see, you know, like sometimes there's some like burgers or, or whatever. That is, that is the extent I do not like going, of course, anywhere near the bakery or any of those other aisles. So I'm not as tempted in, in a regular grocery store. Costco is a different <laughs> Costco. Um, but yes, online shopping, I believe, I think, it, I think you can save money by, you know, cause you're just, you're, you're working from your list. I'm going to, I'm going to log into Amazon or I'm going to log into this, whatever, you know, place you do your on shopping and I'm going to get this, this and that. And uh, you can even get gift cards and things. So uh, thanks Robin, carnivorous grandma. Hey, hello Artie. Nice to see you here. I rewarded myself every 10 pounds with a new bath oil flavor that is so wonderful not something that you're putting in your mouth but you are uh you know having that nice non-food reward I it. thank you so much for sharing already and thank you for coming very nice to see you here and had you singing christmas carols and addressing christmas cards are two non-food activities anyone can do absolutely and isn't that and that, I mean, you can get your family involved too, and everybody, you know, sit together, sign things, um, go out singing together. I love it. Thank you. Uh, Cheryl, Carol's, uh, we try to go see lights. Uh, Cozy Yours is an in outdoor light display that we to go to. I'm not sure what that is, but yeah, I remember. Uh, that's one of the things that my mother, she loved to do. She loved to drive around, you know, um, and we would do it one evening before Christmas, um, you know, because most people the week right before Christmas, they, they've got all their light displays up and you see the most things. If you if you go now, not everybody's got their lights up, but uh, unless it's a commercial enterprise, they put their lights up, at, you know, by the end of November. Um, but my mom just used to doing that and it's something I love doing as well uh, so yeah that'll probably be something I do see if uh, see if we can gather up uh, some family members to go do that together a lot of people around here do seem to be decorating their outside and stuff so I, I like that and uh, thank you for entering the draw Okay, Ibsters, ketogenic woman. I'm from the UK and I want to thank you. In three and a half years, I've lost 236 pounds thanks to you and Sten Ekberg. So for those of you who don't know, Dr. Ekberg, he is somebody that I follow as well. Um, he is, uh, um, he's an amazing keto slash carnivore doctor explains things so well ibsters i'm just speechless like that that is you know that is more than a whole person that you have lost and thank you so much for sharing that and congratulations i just i'm i'm just beyond words thank you for thank you for being here too to tell me this oh my goodness Okay, Kate McLean got my first batch of chickens from the butcher. I did some in the air fryer and some in the oven. Delicious. They really are, aren't they? I mean, those people that throw out the skin, come on, guys. They don't know what they're missing. Uh, I love them. I mean, they turn out good in the oven. They turn out good in the air fryer. I just, I, I just love them. Carrie Lemon. My 17-year-old daughter and I are making changes for life. What can you recommend for her diet? She works at Starbucks, but is doing pretty well with temptation. Well, good for her. I think, you know, for teens, it's hard. I mean, because they, they have, 
I mean, I know that my, you know, my youngest kids, they, they have a much bigger social life than, than I have. My social life is here with you guys. Um, so they are, you know, faced with like young people that go out and teenagers that go out with friends or have a job like at Starbucks, they are faced with temptation a lot. So it's very hard. I think if you can just talk to her about sugar, uh, processed foods, uh, you know, seed oils, that sort of thing. And, and if she, I mean, it's hard for them to, to get really strict. And, and I think as, as long as, you know, she's doing her best every day and, focuses on whole foods and tries to, you know, stay away from sugar and processed foods. She's going to be miles ahead of anyone else in North America um, who, who just follows the standard American diet without even thinking about it. So, um, you know, focus her on single ingredient foods, like food, foods that don't have 20 items in, in, in the ingredient list. Um, things like that. Like, so, you know, just encourage her to be somewhere on the spectrum, you know, keep, keep her carbs low, have some, you know, I mean, fruit is okay for active kids, I believe. And, and, um, you know, some of the vegetables are probably okay, but, um, you know, the more I read about oxalates and anti-nutrients and all that stuff, uh, apparently fruits want to be eaten vegetables, uh, not so much. So, um, you know, I mean, take, just do some, do some research, have her watch some young people on YouTube. Like there's a 16 year old out there now, uh, called Sophia eats steak. And I saw her on, uh, uh, oh, the name, uh, I can't even remember now where I saw her. Somebody had her on recently. I think, I think the lionesses had her on for one thing. And then somebody else had her on the channel. She's a 16 year old girl. Uh, she, she, you know, has completely changed her way of eating. She's, she's eating meat, a meat based diet. Then I think there's a um, ribeye reach. She's also young. Um, also healed some amazing, like she's had some amazing healing from going meat based. And uh, Carrie from Homestead Howe, his daughters. I, I mean, you have to listen to some of the stories he tells about his daughters, what happened to them when they decided to not be vegans anymore. Um, I just, you know, pray that happens to uh, my, I have, I have one child who is not vegan, but vegetarian. And I worry a lot. Uh, so, you know, just, uh, yeah, just like get get her connected with some of those other young people out there. Uh, Melissa Copper's Carnivore Kitchen. I was able to score 23 pounds of ribeye trimmings just by chatting with my butcher and making friends. Wow, I'm, yeah, that is amazing. Good for you. Now, I'm glad you made a comment. Uh, so even though I have this list in front of me, I somehow skipped over <laughs> the part where I, where I wanted to welcome Bonnie and Melissa as our moderators tonight. They're probably laughing their heads off right now because I was so proud of my notes that I wasn't going to miss a thing. And I just realized I missed a thing. There you go. Nothing is foolproof, is it? Uh, <laughs> so... Um, Thank you for that, uh, for that comment. And yes, I agree. Talk to your butchers because they, I mean, when I went to, first time I bought beef fat trimmings, I went to the butcher and um, they didn't have any. And he said, but if you come back in a couple of days, I'll have a bag here for you. I'll, I'll, you know, take your name and call you when it's done. And they did. And so it's, it's, it can be as easy as that. Uh, some some will charge, some some won't, um, but uh, it's definitely it's definitely doable to get the um, to get the beef fat trimmings by becoming friends with butcher. So I'm just going to go back over to the comments here and uh, see what else is going on. Yes, everybody, please hit the like button, get that algorithm going for us. 
Don't forget to enter tallow. That is our giveaway. We will do that in uh, less than half an hour now. And oh, uh, I want to also oh, I'm just looking at a couple of comments here. Yes, uh, it is festive in here tonight. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, isn't it? Thank you, Cat Diamond. Uh, Cat, oh, another one from Cat. I didn't take it before, and never let anyone takes take pics when I was fat. Uh, you wouldn't believe how hard it was for me to find that picture. And there's a, there's a few other pictures that I have. Um, it was it was amazing that I was able to find them, but because I was the same way, I have thousands of pictures of my kids and probably 10 of me <laughs> because, and they were, you know, taken by other people who then gave me the pictures. And, and I mean, I have been known to be handed some pictures and then I quietly tear, tear them up because I couldn't stand to look at them. Um, so yeah, I, uh, just for those of you who, who missed it, there it is my before and after picture. Um, and I've actually lost more weight since <laughs> since that picture, the, the after picture was taken. I'm actually wearing my size 12 jeans now. So uh, yeah, this, this, this is really, this is, this can happen for anybody um, for sure. Hi, Ronnie. Nice to see you here as well. Uh, Bonnie. Uh, oh, Sorry, I thought it said Bonnie enjoys knitting. <laughs> Bonnie, do you enjoy knitting? Yes, you do. Okay, I did not know that. That's good to know. Uh, what else have we got here? Um, and if it, also, I didn't mention that if anyone does have any questions, uh, maybe that came up from last time or just from anything that you've been exposed to this week out there, um, uh, please uh, enter them below because I'm here to answer questions as well. Uh, Yvonne says she just ordered more tallow, but you can never have enough tallow. That is the truth for sure. Uh, hello, Sue. Hello, Sharon. It's great to see you guys, Kim. Oh, so awesome that so many people are coming to watch this. Um, let me just go back over here. I've got comments in different places here. Uh, well, hi, Christy. Thank you for coming. You are looking so fantastic. What a change. Yes. Uh, I When I look at that, I don't remember... I don't remember what I like. I don't know what I was thinking, and I don't remember being like that somehow. Like it, yeah, it's hard to explain. Um, Linda says, You look like a different person and you look thinner every week. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Linda. Uh, I appreciate that. Cookie Carter. Uh, I'm in high spirits being on your live show. You're from Barbados. Nice listening to you. Heard about you two days ago from Dr. Hampton. Oh, that is so nice. That's nice of him. Did he put, I talked to Dr. Hampton. Uh, he recorded an interview. So did he put that up without telling me? I, I, I'd like to, to share it with, uh, with people if it's up there. Or did he just mention it? Maybe he just mentioned it. So. Um, uh, smiling for you. I was always curious how you got started having your own YouTube channel. Did you start because of your weight loss journey and were you always tech savvy or learned along the way? Well, <laughs> that is okay. Uh, I will answer that. So I actually started my website first, uh, almost 10 years ago. Maybe it is 10 years now when, when I was very early into my journey so what was happening back then, 10 years ago, there was this thing, blogging became very, um, the thing to do. It was how, it was a way, it was like an online diary almost. And my first blog posts 
which I've taken off, by the way, um, because they were more like a diary. They weren't, uh, you know, they, they were very much like, like a diary. Today I ate, you know, these things. I did this. I felt this. It was, it was like a, um, it was a therapeutic thing almost. And you did it online. I started, I, I joined groups back then. There was no Facebook. There was no, um, well, actually, no, there was Facebook, but I don't think I knew about it. Maybe I'm not sure. Um, but most of the time, like there wasn't Facebook groups, there was Facebook, but groups came along later. And so there was these things called forums and, and uh, bill, billboards. Um, I don't know, some kind of boards. So you would join these forums and then you would talk to other people in these forums. And so there was low carb forums. There was, there was forums for every topic that you can imagine out there. So uh, I started to talk to people in those forums and I started to share recipes there, like how I was handling this or that. And, and then people started asking me for the recipes and I'd have to like repeat over and over again or copy and paste or whatever. And so then I, I, on my blog where I was keeping this online journal, I decided to start putting recipes on that. And so I did that for a number of years. And then when COVID hit, like there was people that had been encouraging me to go on YouTube, but I was scared of it. Uh, I thought, I, I literally said this to several people, who would want to watch an overweight middle-aged plus woman uh, cooking on YouTube. Who, 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 who wants that? They, they, they don't want to see that. Um, but people kept encouraging me. Um, and so when COVID hit, <laughs> I, that's when, that's when I took the plunge. And, and it was also because I had a family member who was tech savvy. And uh, she is the one who helps me with my channel and editing and all that other stuff. She is the, I call her the genius from upstairs. And, <laughs> um, because a whole bunch of us family members, we have, we, we share this house now near Victoria, BC. So, um, so she's, she's the brains behind this, uh, this operation. I'm, I'm just the, the person who smiles and talks and cooks. So, uh, I mean, I, I should give myself more credit than that. I actually, I actually do uh, have a little bit of computer background, a little bit of science background. Uh, I'm, a, I'm an accountant by day. So I have some business background. Um, so, uh, between the two of us, uh, I, I think we've, uh, uh, you know, we're accomplishing things and trying to bring you some really great content. So uh, I did I answer all your points? Probably I probably answered more than what you wanted to know. Um, but, uh, but and yes, I have learned plenty of things along the way we both have actually. So uh, yeah, thanks for that question. Uh, Shock Churchum says, as a viewer, I can definitely see that Anita has been losing more weight. You are looking more radiant. Thank you so much. That's very nice of you. I, uh, yes, I am on a, on a losing journey at the moment. Um, well, I've kind of been stalling the last couple of weeks, but you know, you can't lose weight all the time. Like it is not like, like this. It is like this like this and the trend is down. So um, just remember that if you have a week where it jumps up. Ronnie says, we buy cheap Christmas stockings every year for the grandkids. I write their names on them and then they can take the entire sock home after I get together. I love that. Um, yeah, that that is such a great idea. It gives them something to take home. Uh, thank you, Ron, Ronnie. Uh, Mrs. Louise Braubuck, this is my first time to make the live while it is actually live. Oh, so nice that you were able to make it. Uh, glad that you're here catching it live. Uh, Keto Mama says, I'm in my eights. I have an old pair of pants that I had in my teenage years. I fit in them. I was ecstatic. Um, you know, that is amazing. Even, even as a kid, I, I was always too big for a size eight. I, 
I'm wearing a smaller size now than when, you know, before I even got to high school. Like I, my mom had to take me to special stores to get clothes and, and um, yeah, so I don't, I, I never had, I've never had small clothes before. Um, I'm buying them, like to me, size 12 was green. And now I'm, you know, I'm going, okay, so, you know, the 10 or the eight is in my future. And, and I, I feel like that is, and I, um, never had that, never had that even as a kid. I, I went, I feel like I went from children's extra large to three XX or something, you know, like just in one fell swoop. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a, it's an odd, it's an odd thing. It's an odd feeling. Uh, congratulations, Keto Mama. Uh, I mean, that is, that is amazing. Uh, meeting wellness. Have you tried the Equip Prime Protein? I got a bag, but haven't tried it yet. If so, suggestions on how to use it. So I have um, ordered some. I, I I heard so many good things about it from from people that I've been talking to. Um, so I do have some on order, um, and they also gave me a bag that I can use giveaway. So there'll be a future uh, giveaway of a bag of Equip Prime Protein coming. Um, I haven't received it yet. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, but I, it's very, the unflavored is, is very clean. Um, I don't know yet what I'm going to do with it. I'll probably try some baking with it. Um, and even for those of you who are still, you know, using a little bit of flavor and sweetener, um, that like the chocolate and, and, uh, you know, I don't know what all flavors they have. I, I think they have the usual vanilla chocolate strawberry, um, it, it's sweetened with uh, stevia, is, uh, is my understanding. So, and there's not there's not a lot of ingredients in it. Like I, I think, I think as far as I know, um, it's a very clean protein powder. So yeah, I'd love to hear what you do with it, Christy, and and uh, let me know because uh, it's uh, you know something something coming my way. Um, and any holiday dishes you can suggest for carnivores? Um, well, I have uh, made some links below uh, as far as entertaining, like I've got a carnivore appetizers link down below. I'm big on, you know, bringing a board, charcuterie boards. But um, holiday dishes that I make as a carnivore would be uh, any any type of meat. Like I I would then maybe go for a higher end cut of meat if I'm having guests, like maybe a ribs a rib roast, um, prime rib, uh, a brisket. Um, I don't like. I, I know this is sacrilegious around the holidays, but I'm not a fan of turkey. But turkey is a great carnivore. Uh, I mean, it's a traditional holiday and uh, we can go to town on it if we want to. So a uh, uh, rack of lamb is something else I've made for special dinners. And I have, uh, I mean, I have rack. Of, I mean, I've done all these things on YouTube. I have rack of lamb both on my website as a printed recipe, as well as on YouTube. Um, if you, if you search my YouTube channel, I mean, I I think I've made almost every cut of, of meat, although sometimes I'm discovering new ones as well. So, yeah, I would just, uh, you know, go go for something that is special like that. Uh, Dili, carnivore for three months, beef, butter, eggs, water, electrolytes, no energy now or before carnivore. Any suggestions? I think I get plenty of fat. Um, yeah, I, I mean, are you, are you getting good sleep or are you getting enough nutrition? Um, you know, this is something I've, as I've been talking to people lately, I realized that many people are actually under eating and, uh, you know, I, I've been in stalls before, like long stalls, um, and, and just that feeling of just not having uh, enough energy and stuff like that. And I think I was under eating um, because I'm eating more now. I mean, people, there's the odd person out there who comments that my meals look small, but most women especially 
when they look at my meals, because I do show them, I show them on Facebook and I show them in my Tuesday talks sometimes. And, and most, most people are like, whoa, how do you eat that much? Um, uh, you know, I, I eat that much and I lose weight. Um, and, and I feel energetic and I'm exercising and, you know, my, my life is, uh, is, is, is a whirlwind of activity now. And, and I, 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 I'm not really, you know, what, there's not really enough information for me to make any suggestions, but, you know, think about this holistically. It's not sometimes just about the food. It's about, um, movement, fresh air, your circadian rhythm, uh, you know, getting enough sleep, all those things. Um, a fr I was talking to a friend the other day and she said, focusing on the food and the weight is like focusing on the color of a car when the engine is broken. And so there are things inside of us that some sometimes need some repairs and fixing and that can take time. Um, so just, 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 you know, look at your nutrition, calculate your TDEE, make sure you're getting enough nutrition and also looking at those other things like getting enough sleep and downtime, um, de-stressing, circadian rhythm, all of those things uh, play a part here. Uh, C. Pruitt uses Element daily but hasn't completely mitigate, mitigated nocturnal wave cramps, tried everything, which needing if they'll decrease over time? Um, well, it depends. I mean, maybe whatever is in the element is not quite enough or not exactly what you need. Um, there in, in the summertime, I did go to two packs packs a day because um, I, I needed it. I was uh, getting more activity and whatnot. There's also um, uh, other things like uh, you can maybe take an Epsom salt bath. Um, one product that I do keep at my bedside just in case is magnesium oil spray. And um, I do, I mean, it's in, it's in my Amazon shop, but you can look on Amazon as well and and uh, take a look for that because if i do happen to wake up in the night with a leg cramp um spraying on my leg and just massaging it in works within seconds um, i highly highly recommend uh, to have that that product um christy ad can eating eggs cause you to have digestion problems? I'm trying to figure out what is upsetting my gut. It can for some people. Try eating just the egg yolks. A lot of people, if they have reactions to eggs, it's because of the whites. It's very common for people to have sensitivity to the egg whites. So separate them and try just the yolks and, and see, see how you do. E. Carter, he mentioned you in a recent podcast about your recipes. Oh, Dr. Hampton. Okay. I tried your cream cheese muffin. Delicious. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so happy that he mentioned me. Um, so he did interview me and he that will come out at some point. Um, and it's a different type of interview. interview. I think with Dr. Hampton, he definitely is one of those people that does the whole picture. He looks at everything, you know, stress and past trauma and your family and, you know, uh, food, food is one thing of a whole, what, you know, what he calls the, the nest, you know, and the rope. So he's a very interesting man, completely. I'm just fascinated by him. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Cookie Carter. Uh, many Anita, many are so grateful you listen to those that encourage you to start your channel. Oh, thank you. I, I, I am as well. Thank you. Patty, uh, how is your knee holding up? Well, you know, it's holding up. Uh, I am on the waiting list to, uh, you know, for the knee surgery. Now here in Canada, our waiting lists are long. Uh, it could take one to two years. So I thought I'm going to go on the waiting list because if in one to two years, my knee seems like it's okay. Um, 
then I can always just say, I can always decline. But if in one to two years, things have gotten worse, then, then I have to wait one to two years, you know, on the waiting list, which could be even longer by then. So I thought I'm going to hedge my bets, get on the waiting list and see what happens. Thanks for asking. I, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm keeping up with my movement. That's the main thing. What is... Is M21, what is the biggest change you made to lose all the weight recently? Okay, so up until recently, I had already lost 130 to 35 pounds, I think, which is a pretty significant loss. So even with all of the dirty keto I've done, dirty low carb, all the mistakes I've made, I mean, I have lost the ball my weight doing all kinds of things that some 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 were good some were bad but they were all part of this journey you know and and this journey has caused me to clean up clean up clean up and every every month every few months I'm changing things up cleaning up a little bit more figuring out new things learning new things from other people other doctors and so what I have learned recently is that I was not eating enough protein. I, I was more um, like higher fat, lower protein. My body, uh, you know, I, I had some coaching with Alice and Kevin and, and they asked me to try reversing it and going uh, higher protein and lowering fat. Now I'm not low fat. But I'm still eating 100 or more grams per day of fat. Uh, most of my friends would consider that just, you know, horrible. <laughs> um, but so I am not low fat, uh, but I am lower fat than what I was and higher protein than I was. And that my body has responded very well to that. So I, I will I will keep going with that while it's responding to that. But that that is the biggest change. Oh, well, and, and, you know, I need to add that I've also started resistance training. And uh, so that's another huge change. So th those two together uh, are what's happening. SC, uh, now that you're nearing the holiday season, how do you stay on track with carnivore? Uh, and I agree, you look radiant. SC, you have to watch last week's live stream because... Those tips, um, there's three pages of tips um, that Bonnie and Melissa, they helped me put it together, but I have used every single one of those. Those are my, uh, you know, staying staying on course through the holidays. Uh, it's, like a, it's like a plan or, um, you know, all kinds of tips in there. So, I mean, you know, being prepared, uh, you know, being prepared is like one of the biggest things. Uh, your 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 headspace, you know, um, keeping keeping your stress down. You know, we I, I'm a stress eater, and so that's important to me. Uh, so yeah, I, I would encourage you to watch last week's live stream because we went into this in in, in a lot of detail. And uh, glad you're here tonight um, because we have wow, we're we're like running out of time, and there's still more topics I, I want to cover. So let me just see what other um uh, kaya seven i do most of my shopping online because here i agree i do shop locally to help out the small local stores but i have to ship some so i buy those online yes i love going to local markets and things buying from local artisans um so brewing better living mixing it just with hot water and a tiny bit of heavy cream it tastes just like swiss miss um um, I'm not sure what exactly. Uh, oh, the hot, is it the equip or is it the the new element flavors? One of those things. Uh, I, I have to know now, so I hope you tell me. Uh, hi, Neely. How are you? Indigo Neely says, equip hot chocolate is the best. Add a little element or salt and it is smoking. Also, I love mixing equip into my yogurt. Thank you. Oh, those are great suggestions. Thank you so much, Neely. Uh, iced coffee. Yes, that was the flavor. There's a new flavor. So iced coffee is coming. I do have a link below because um, I am now 
an affiliate for Equip. And I believe if you use Ketogenic Woman, you should get a discount, I believe. Uh, so Kate McLean loves the braised boneless beef ribs. Those are good. Um, yes, uh, I I love any type of beef beef ribs, <laughs> boneless bones, half bones. B dog, how did you get to the no sweetener step? It's rough to let go. It is rough to let go. I just reduced it gradually. I I tried cold turkey a few times and it was very hard. Um, and I just I just went slowly, 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 um, and. Uh, you know, uh, if, if like some of the desserts, uh, like I recently put out a, you know, I think eight carnivore dessert video or something like that. Those in the beginning, I had some sweetener in them. And uh, now, I mean, I can take, I can have something like, uh, 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 I almost forget it. Oh, Dr. Kiltz, sorry. Kiltz's ice cream, his carnivore ice cream does not need a speck of sweetener to me anymore. It takes the cream tastes sweet. Um, so your taste buds change once you start letting go of the sweeteners. Uh, okay. Patricia Merriman, what do you think of Wagyu? Well, I've never had Wagyu. I'm, you know, I have seen the, I have seen it at like Wagyu beef in Costco, can't afford it. It is like extremely expensive. Um, are you worried about the arsenic and sardines? No, uh, I eat them two to three times a day. Um, well, look into it. Like I don't, I eat them uh, four or five times a week. So I'll have a can of sardines. I, I, there was, so in one of my Tuesday talks, I addressed all of those issues about mercury and arsenic and the cans and all that stuff. Um, so I will find that and link it below. But um, it's not that for these small fish, it's not that much of an issue. It's the bigger fish, uh, some of these things. Uh, how do you feel about fasting for autophagy? Um, I'm not a faster. I, do, I do, don't eat between dinner and breakfast the next day. So I get 14 to 16 hours naturally. Um, some people swear by it. And, uh, you know, they're, they're getting autophagy um, after, I think, 16 or 18 hours, I think is, a, I can't remember the exact cutoff time, but I can't, fa I can't fast that long. <laughs> so I, I'm living with my lack of autophagy, but that exercise is good to have. Um, okay, we are getting, uh, okay, I'm going to answer a couple more questions and, and then we're going to have to do our draw. And I need to mention these, these uh, PDFs that we have down below too. So, but Shannon is having major surgery in January, trying to figure out how much I need to eat more fat, protein, electrolytes while I'm off my feet. I would focus on protein for healing. Definitely focus on protein for healing. Yes, we need we need fat too. So don't like omit the fat. Have them both. But um, if you can, you know, if if your hunger is not as much as it as it should be or whatever, get that protein in. It's what will heal, you know, your your surgery. Uh, Keto Mama, don't know if this will help, but Dr. Sean Baker had a guy on his show interviewing, and he told of some herbs or algae that helps joint problems. It, um, yeah, so, you know, I'm bone on bone uh, arthritis in my knee um, and a prior knee injury. So I'm, you know, I'm probably going to get the surgery and have tried, have, you know, kind of been there, done that with all of the, you know, solutions. There's so many solutions out there. Um, but thank you for sharing that because that 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 may help somebody who's not as far along as I am on that injury, you know, on that uh, trek. Yes, I know it's almost time. I'm I'm being given all the you know it's time. Uh, so what was your fast drop and majority of weight loss doing keto or carnivore? Um, I think I already answered that previously. So I'm uh, sorry, already. I'm going to skip to the next question because we're running out of time. Um, Roy says, this is so phenomenally and fundamentally super cool. Thanks for sharing all this. You're welcome. 
And my 30 day challenge for December, I, well, I'm just going to stay the course. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, uh, you know, I'm going to keep prioritizing my protein, exercising four days a week. That's, that is it. So we're going to go to the draw now. And uh, let's uh, take a look at the giveaway tool here. Um, and then I'm going to quickly mention a couple of awesome because I didn't even get I didn't even get to the safety for pets. Uh, well, I wanted to talk about that. We have 115 entries, so let's draw. Oh, here we go. I love seeing all those names coming up. Let's write down who is the winner. Sandra is the winner. Now, there's no last name here, but Sandra, if this is you, what I need you to do is to uh, email me at ketogenicwoman at gmail.com and tell me your address so that I can mail you your beef tallow. Um, but I made a note of your name. So thank you very much for entering. So PDFs, we have some PDFs. We have a gift guide that is down below. You can download it. Um, we have stocking stuffers, uh, $10 or less, high-end things, food items. Uh, it's, it's like two or three pages long. This is, I don't expect you to read this. It's just a glimpse, but links are below. And we have pet safety for the holidays. There are two pages of amazing information here on... Um, your pets. Uh, there are so many things that can go wrong during the Christmas season with pets. Um, so I need to wrap this up because our hour is done. I'm um, just going to pop that back on for next week. Hang on a second. I gotta, uh, next week's uh, draw, next week's giveaway is this wonderful little package here. And uh, thank you guys so much for coming tonight, spending this hour and two minutes with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry we went over time. I know some of you have other places to be. Thank you for spending your Sunday evening. I will see you next week and uh, appreciate all of you so much. Love you guys. See you next week. Thanks for coming to my live.